14 June 1928 in Bluefield, West Virginia. His father, who gave his own name to him, was an electrical engineer in a company. His father, Margaret, had been a school teacher until she got married. John went to the standard schools in Bluefield, but also to a kindergarten before studying in the elementary school level. And his parents provided an encyclopedia that he learned a lot from by reading it as a child. He was always interested in mathematics. By the time he was a student in high school, he was reading the classic Man of Mathematics by E.T. Bell, and he remembers succeeding in proving the classic Fermat theorem about an integer multiplied by itself p times where p is a prime. He also did electrical and chemistry experiments at that time. Later, when he actually entered Carnegie Technology in Petersburg as a student with the measure of chemical engineering with a full scholarship. But after one semester, he reacted negatively to the fragmentation of courses, such as mechanical drawing, and shifted to chemistry instead. This man is a genius. After he graduated from Carnegie Technology, Nash was accepted by Harvard University. But the chairman of the mathematics department of Princeton, Solomon Lefschetz, offered him the John S. Kennedy Fellowship. Thus, he went to Princeton where he worked on his equilibrium theory. After his story started to work at Massachusetts Institute of Technology. After he had started to work at MIT, he was called from Pentagon. He had the army radio transmission during from the Cold War. He mentioned that he was a genius and obsessed with sure mathematics. But one day, his time? life was about to change. How? Oh, just know something? Let's see together. Constantly. We've developed several ciphers. If you'd like to review our preliminary data. Doctor. Six, seven, three, seven. Six thirteen zero eight sixty seven forty six nine zero. Starkey Corners, Maine. Forty eight zero three zero one ninety one twenty six thirty five. Prairie Portage, Minnesota. These are latitudes and longitudes. There are at least ten others. They appear to be routing orders across the border into the U.S. Extraordinary. After they met, they were fell in love. Also at that time, he was on a secret mission. John met a man called William Parcher, and Parcher wanted him to work for himself as a decoder. And John started to work. He was getting all the newspapers and magazines and trying to secret codes in all of them for the safety of the government. And they passed like that. He also married with Alicia, who met in the class, but as the days were passing, John was behaving strangely. He had started to become paranoid. He told that someone were watching him because of his secret mission. But in fact, all of these were not real. Actually, there was no man called William Parcher, Charles Herman, and his nephew, Marcy. You take care of her, you pathetic piece of shit, or I'll take care of you. Show me. Oh, Christ, John, please, do what he says. Move, soldier. Now. Uncle John. John, please! Now! 
Commission Charles no coexist in the same way. The Commission Parts and Origins in the same way. The Commission Charles no coexist in the same way. The Commission Parts and Origins in the same way. The Commission Charles no coexist in the same way. The Commission Charles no coexist in the same way. People were the pigment of his imagination because he was schizophrenic, and he began treatment in the hospital. He used medicine for his illness, and he was escaping from people for a long time. But one day he wanted to get rid of this situation for his family, because they were really not happy. He went to see his old friend, who was the dean at Princeton University. John asked to allow attending the lesson to socialize with people, and years passed. Will you be needing an office? No. No, I could just work out of the library. He has been seeing these imaginary people for years, but he is ignoring them. We do have the maximum speed of me. Let's say 10 miles an hour. So you have a fly on the tire of bicycle B. And the fly, who can travel at 20 miles an hour, leaves a tire of bicycle B and it flies to the tire of bicycle A and backwards and forwards and so on and so forth until the two bikes collide and the poor little fly is squashed. <laughs> so this is the important thing about actually focusing in and comprehending the, the area that you're dealing with. Mathematics is, is very specific and it is an art form. No matter what these people around here will tell you, especially the people from biology. You don't listen to any of those people. Let me go back to what you were doing before, because I think I might want to steal this and try to get famous. Perhaps my appetite to imagine and to dream. Professor Nash. It's good to have you here, John. Thank you. It's an honor, sir. Thank you very much. A privilege, Professor. Professor. Nicely done, John. Despite his illness, he did so much research and achieved living as a normal person. In 1994, he won the Nobel Economy. Certainly most unexpected. I've always believed in numbers, in the equations and logics that lead to reason. But after a lifetime of such pursuits, I ask, what truly is logic? Who decides reason? My quest has taken me through the physical, the metaphysical, the delusional, and back. And I have made the most important discovery of my career. The most important discovery of my life. It is only in the mysterious equations of love that any logical reasons can be found. I'm only here tonight because of you. You are the reason I am. <sighs> you are all my reasons.
feel me somehow You're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be And I don't wanna go home right now And all I could taste is this moment And all I can breathe is your life